All right, you're probably wondering, why are we in your bathroom? My name's Greg, you're watching How to Play Paintball. Okay, so uh, yes, there is gonna be a lot of echo because I'm in the bathroom and I'm gonna explain why that is uh, in a second here. So what I wanted to do was show you guys a drill that I had actually done previously when I was kind of coming up through the, uh, the ranks. Um, you don't have to do it in your bathroom. This is just a place because you need to have a mirror uh, for this particular drill. But this is a snap shooting drill that you can do to help with those little millimeter differences. Uh, that might mean you getting shot or being able to uh, get out of the way of a shot, um, being able to stay tight, all of those things. This is going to help you out a lot with that. So all you're going to need for this is a mirror. So again, it doesn't have to be in your bathroom. It could be, I mean, when I had done this before, I had, uh, this was, phew, I was in high school, I think. So when in our house where I was growing up, we had this larger mirror uh, right when you walked in and I was able to, to use that. So anywhere that there's a mirror, you could even do this if you have like a sliding glass door. And uh, you know, sometimes you can even see your reflection. As long as you can see your reflection, that's all that you need. Uh, but you do need to have your marker. Uh, make sure that it is not aired up. Um, I don't have any air in my tank. Uh, but you do need to have your full setup, uh, but you don't need any paint with this. If you wanted to, to have the a little bit extra weight in there, that's going to be up to you, but uh, you don't need to have that for this particular drill. So the other thing that you're going to need is uh, masking tape or even like painter's tape is going to be fine. You just want to have tape that one you can see, but also it's going to be able to easily come off of the, uh, the mirror. You don't want to leave any adhesive on there. So like masking tape is going to be good for that. Uh, like I said, that painter's tape, that blue tape uh, is going to be good because the whole point is that the adhesive isn't strong enough to rip anything off. It's also not going to leave anything on there. So if that's going to work. Or the other thing that you can do is actually use a dry erase marker. So if all you have is a chair or, you know, just something like that, or you can even use just the edge of the mirror, um, there, there's different ways that you can uh, that you can do that. I just think that the masking tape is going to work really well, or that dry erase marker. All right, so uh, I know it's weird seeing three of me, uh, but what you're going to do is take your masking tape, and this is a snapshot drill. So what you're going to be doing, you don't need a lot of it, but let's say that we want to work on snap shooting from like a Dorito or an Aztec. We know that roughly. Uh, it's about that much of an angle, right? For a Dorito, maybe an Aztec is a little bit more, and then you have a straight down bunker or something like that. So let's say that we wanted to work on a Dorito, okay? So give or take a little bit, that's gonna be about the angle of a Dorito. Uh, you're gonna kinda know in your head. What you're gonna do with this drill is take your marker, and you could have your mask on. That's the other thing I forgot. If you wanted to have your mask, that is gonna help you out with uh, staying tight. But the whole point of this drill is you're trying to see what is showing as you actually snap out. So as I'm snapping out, I'm trying to see where is it that I uh, am basically getting just past that tape, so just past the point of being able to shoot and being able, you know, if you want to pull the trigger, you could. Now, what you can do to help you with getting better with this is close your eyes, come out, and then look how much is showing. Because you want it to be that you know exactly how far you need to come out to shoot uh, and not be showing a lot. So maybe I come out and I look and I see, oh, my elbow, I need to tuck that in or tuck my hopper in more, whatever the case may be. This is going to help you with that. So it starts becoming muscle memory. So that way I can close my eyes and snap out and look. Okay, I need to tuck in my elbow or I need to do this or that. So basically it starts becoming second nature of I only need to come out this much. That's an issue that some players have is that when they snap back into their bunker, they come in so far and then they have to snap all the way back out and you're losing a lot of time and you're using a lot more energy uh, doing that. Whereas if you just come out like that, you'll see the, the top players aren't snapping all the way back in and then all the way out like that. You, you don't want to waste extra energy. You know, you, you just need to come out and be quick. And if I only need to move, you know, a couple inches rather than, you know, a foot and a half, uh, I'm going to be able to snap out faster than someone that's trying to snap out after, you know, coming all the way back into a bunker and all the way back out. Uh, I'm going to be able to get there quicker than they will. Okay, so like I said, 
there's no more adhesive there. Uh, I wouldn't push the tape all the way on there, but you really only need one strip. So let's say that I wanted to work on a can and get that like that. And of course you want to switch hands. So with a can, you know, it's easier to do this. Uh, one of the methods that you can use is let's say that your mirror, you don't have uh, something that you can kind of snap out with. If you have a wall, that, that's going to help at least with cans, uh, the bricks, things like that, where you need to make sure that you're really rolling instead of snapping out. So same thing, I'm just going to be looking and I'm going to close my eyes. Okay. All right. I need to tuck this in or this in, whatever the case may be, I'm going to know as I'm coming out. You can do as many reps of this as you want. Uh, it's gonna start putting a toll on you uh, as you continue to do it. So uh, if you wanna have a timer or if you wanna do, okay, I'm gonna do 20 snaps and then I'm gonna close my eyes and look, okay, I need to do you know 10 more after that or 15 and then switch hands and uh, kind of keep going like that. However it is that you wanna do this drill is gonna be fine. All right, so like I said, the, the variations that you can do with this, and again, I apologize for the echo because I can hear it. Uh, if you don't have tape and you have a dry erase marker, that's gonna work fine. Uh, even if you just had uh, a chair, the, the downside with a chair or a wall is you really can only work on those straight down bunkers, right? Uh, whereas with the tape or a dry erase marker, you can start getting into an Aztec, uh, a Dorito. You can even uh, get down on your knee if your, your mirror goes low enough and work on that snapshot at a low point, uh, or even coming up and down and snapping. Uh, all of that is gonna be helping with just that muscle memory. You want it to be that it's second nature, that you know exactly how far you need to come out uh, and make sure that everything is nice and tight because you don't want it to be that your elbow is hanging out just enough that now the ball clips you, right? Or uh, if your hopper is showing or your mask or whatever the case may be, if you snap out, if that little bit is showing, you just gave your opponent an advantage and you don't want that. You wanna to try to take away all of those, uh, those weaknesses that you can, that are within your control, right? Um, sometimes the weather is gonna be bad or you know, whatever it might be. You wanna to try to take away everything that is gonna be an outside force. So guys, uh, I wanna say thank you to my Patreon. Um, Thank you guys for that. I appreciate the conversation that we had over at Patreon. If you wanted to become one of my Patreon, uh, there's levels from $1 all the way up to $50. So uh, you can go ahead and check that out, patreon.com slash how to play paintball. Uh, also, please make sure that you guys are staying safe. Um, this is a great drill that you can do that you don't need any paint with. So you're gonna be able to stay safe at home and we're gonna be doing just fine. Once we can get out from all this quarantine stuff or if you're watching from the future and you know, we're out of that, uh, we're, we're gonna be just okay. And this is something that you can do at home. So that way when you get back out onto the field, you're gonna be um, even more prepared than the person that you're playing against. So uh, thank you to everyone that's been a support since day one. And even if today is your first video, thank you. So please make sure that you like and subscribe. Put a comment down below if you'd like any help with anything. And uh, uh, of course my Patreon are the ones that I grab video ideas from first. Uh, but I do look at the comments and I try to respond as best as I can so that, that way uh, I want to put videos out that you guys want to see. So thank you again. And as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks.